in English and then we Good finish. afternoon. I'm here uh, with you today along with uh, my colleague and friend, Mr. Miller, dear Mark. Um, as of now, I can confirm that India has formally conveyed its plan to unilaterally remove diplomatic immunities for all but 21 Canadian diplomats and dependents in Delhi by tomorrow, October 20th. This means 41 Canadian diplomats and their 42 dependents were in danger of having immunity stripped on an arbitrary date, and this would put their personal safety at risk. The safety of Canadians and of our diplomats is always my top concern. Given the implications of India's actions on the safety of our diplomats, we have facilitated their safe departure from India. This means that our diplomats and their families have now left. Diplomatic immunities keep diplomats safe, no matter where they're from and where they're sent to. Immunities allow diplomats to do their work without fear of reprisal or arrest from the country they're in. They are a fundamental, fundamental principle of diplomacy. And this is a two-way street. The only work, they only work if every country abides by the rules. A unilateral revocation of diplomatic privileges and immunities is contrary to international law. It is a clear violation of the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. And threatening to do so is unreasonable and escalatory. If we allow the norm of diplomatic immunity to be broken, no diplomats anywhere on the planet would be safe. So for this reason, we will not reciprocate. Canadians watching may be wondering what this means for our operations in India. There's no question that India's decision will impact levels of services to citizens in both countries. Unfortunately, we have to put a pause on all in-person services in our consulates in Chandigarh, in Mumbai, and in Bangalore. And I will let my colleagues speak uh, for what that means for immigration services, but also for consular services. Canadians who need consular assistance can still visit our High Commission in Delhi, and you can still also do that in person, reach by phone and by email. Let me be clear. Canada will continue to defend international law, which applies to all nations, and will continue to engage with India. Now more than ever, we need diplomats on the ground, and we need to talk to one another. 